In this lesson, we'll continue our view of writing test nine, section two. We're still on the second passage out of four free public transportation. We're on question 16. Instituting a fare-free system can also have a devastating effect on a city transportation's budget. All public transportation systems are subsidized by the government to some extent, but large systems gain a substantial portion of their operating revenues from fares. So 16, which choice best introduces the paragraph? We need a topic sentence to that would connect with this information that even though public transportations are subsidized by the government the large systems gain a substantial portion the bulk of their revenues from fares and so if a, in, a fare free system was instituted what effect would that have this looks good a devastating effect on the city's transportation budget because they're not collecting fares and they large systems rely on them extensively for a substantial portion of the revenues. And so this is an evidence-based question. You're really looking for some type of topic sentence that feeds in to the next sentence about the loss of fares. And these other choices, the change in service or environment or increasing crowding, this has nothing to do with revenue. And so this one is no change, A. Since systems that go fare free see increases in ridership, they often must operate more buses and trains and hire more drivers and their personnel at the same time they are losing a key source of funding. Advocates of fare free policies claim that the cost of these policies are largely upset by various savings, comma, however, a recent study comparing projected results of the fare free policies in different cities found this outlook to be way too sunny. So we have two questions. 17 is a standard English convention, a grammar question. We have an independent clause here, and then we have a comma and a however. However is a conjunctive adverb. This creates a run-on. You can't have a comma and a however. You can have a semicolon, right, to cure the run-on, but not a comma. And the only conjunctions you can ever use to connect two independent clauses, those are called coordinating conjunctions. There's an acronym, FAN boys. Those are the only seven for and nor but or yet so those are the only seven conjunctions that will connect it we do have contrast here between the advocates and the actual study and so we just want comma but the answer here is c and then 18 the tone of this is way too colloquial or casual found this outlook not way too sunny but just overly optimistic it's consistent with the tone and the language of the passage for example, in San Francisco, California, fare-free public transit was projected to save $8.4 million per year in fare collection costs, but create a deficit of $72 million per year in lost fares. So 19, this is a graph question. We just want an accurate interpretation of the graph. So we're looking in San Francisco, projected to save eight point four, million, but a deficit of $72 million. Let's see if that's correct in San Francisco. So savings, eight point four. million. That's correct, it's not underlined, but create a deficit of 72. Not a deficit because this is the additional, the cost of adding service, not the deficit. The total operating costs are 184 million. And so it's not, it's not no change. Save an additional 112, no, because these are cost and lost fares, but result in a total increase of 184 million per year in operating. This is definitely the right answer, right? If you look, just pay attention to the information on the graph, and it is C. Let's take a look at 20. The writer is considering adding the, adding the following sentence based on the information from the chart. By contrast, Lane Transit in Eugene, Oregon would lose only five million in fares if it instituted fare-free system should the writer make the addition here. So let's take a look. We're considering adding an example of a, of a city, a smaller city that would lose only 5 million in fares if it instituted the fare-free system, and that would be right here. So let's go think about this whole paragraph. What's this paragraph about? It's about a devastating effect on the city's transportation budget and how a lot of these cities, it's really difficult to overcome this lost revenue. And then we had an example of San Francisco, a large city, which had 184 additional million. And now should we have by contrast, should we contrast it 
with losing only five million. And if you think about it, it's really not on point of the paragraph. The, the, the point is really the devastating effect. Why do we need at the very end contrasting it with a smaller city that only lost five million? It, it's really not consistent with the information in this paragraph. Let's look at the choices here. We've got two yeses and two noes. It does not support the argument that fair free systems causes substantial loss for governments or no because it contradicts a point about fair collection made earlier in the passage definitely doesn't contradict a point but it doesn't support the argument that fair free systems cause a substantial loss for the government Remember, the whole paragraph is about a devastating effect and it really doesn't fit i'm not saying it's not relevant but it, it doesn't belong in this paragraph and so this one is a no C, and we've got two more for this passage. This is not to say that fair free public transportation is always a bad idea. Some college town and towns and resort communities embrace the model because buses can go faster when drivers would not have had to collect fares. So this is really kind of awkward here, and this is you just want to be parallel here. So buses can go faster when drivers. Why would you want would not have the conditional? Just do not have, right? We want to be consistent with go faster, do not have. We, not, we don't want to change the tense to past or present, past or future. We just want do, which is consistent with go. And the last question, number 22. For large cities looking to reduce automobile traffic, though, research about talent in Estonia could be instructive. And we want a final conclusion. So this last mini paragraph is stating that it's not totally a bad idea because it works in smaller towns or resort cities. Do we want to conclude about research in Tallinn could be instructive? For large cities looking to reduce automotive, automobile traffic, though, what would be a concluding? Not one specific study about Tallinn, but the main point is it, even though it could work in these smaller cities, in large cities, it's really not a viable option. This is much too specific as well. So A is not the correct answer. Subways will prove to be more important. This is definitely not a passage about subways. Public transportation should be cheaper, but not free. Again, really not accurate. Fair free public transportation is not the answer. A good conclusion just to summarize that for these larger cities, it's really not the answer.